There we go. Hi, everybody. This is David P. France, and I'm coming to you from Basel, Switzerland. Today, I have Henning Rupsen, again, back for another interview. This time, it's going to be a bit shorter, but we are going to go right to, to the nitty-gritty. To the nitty-gritty. How, how are you, Henning? I'm all right. I, I have to say that, that this uh, curfew is getting to me more than I care to admit. I mean, just my, my sense of freedom is compromised, and I don't like it one bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, what you you at arrived home at eight o'clock? Where, 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 where were you before you were? Were you still in Texas up until recently? I got back uh, two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Okay. So. so. Um, and, and all what is the, it? From, from the Minnesota murder I witnessed here from New York. Okay, okay, okay. And the and, national outrage. Right, right. Well, look. Um, international outrage now. Thank God it's, uh, there's outrage. Well, I, I, for a lot of African American black people, I mean, this has been we've been living with things like this for a long time. And I think some people, a lot of people were numb, maybe the older generations, and I include myself in them halfway in the, the older generation and half into the, 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 on the other side. So a lot of us are sort of numb to it or kind of complacent. And I think what was the surprise was how quickly things started to escalate and mobilize. I think we were, I, I, I'm still sort of, like, wow, this is really, impre it's impressive how quickly people acted, you know, yeah. considering, you know, all things considered. So, um, a few decades too late, but yes. <laughs> then well, look, you know, I, I, I put it this way. It's taken a long time and things still have not um, finished unfolding. But better late yeah. than never, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> better yeah. late than never. And you know, and the, the invention of uh, the cell phone is what really, you know, has 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 changed the dynamic considerably. Yeah, that's true. Everything is immediate. We can see all over the world what's happening as long as it's recorded somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and it has to be the yeah. right circumstances in the right recording if that makes sense to you yeah of course meaning meaning like you know it, it, it all elements have to come together and the probability of those elements coming together are have been dramatically increased if you if you understand what i'm saying because because anyone can be a citizen journalist and capture exactly. the news yeah right? no, so similar Similar to what we're about to do here, I, I'm interested in knowing about your upcoming course. I saw this posted on Facebook, and I just want to let you know I am, well, West Side Story is one of my all-time favorite musical oh, that's great. films. Yeah, and good. at the DVD, have studied it back and forth, I think even um, as early as my teenage years. Yeah. Right. So um, could you tell us about your course and how um, you are going to teach this subject matter. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's going to be an online course. So, yeah. um, hey, I'm grappling with that. So, but hey, West Side Story, mm -hmm. and uh, we have been doing uh, summer courses, one day summer courses for a number of years now at Juilliard. And in the past, um, I have tried to make the course as alive as possible. So for example, one year we went to an ABT matinee of Swan Lake. Mm -hmm. And you know, we met at 10 o'clock in the morning and for an hour and a half, I gave them the history, the production history of Swan Lake, how Tchaikovsky and you know, dreamed it up and that it was a, um, not a success at all when it was first done at the Bulls show, but then when Pettipa took it and, 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 and then I had Irina Borovenko come in to talk about her experience as a ballerina. Then we went to, then they were served lunch, then a boxed lunch, not, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh, not, uh, I understand. <laughs> not no silverware or anything. But, <laughs> but you know, then we went across the plaza to see the, to see Swan Lake. 
Mm -hmm. Well, and then we went back to the Juilliard building and talked about it. Oh, how wonderful. So now I thought, hey, we can do something similar with a new um, production of West Side Story. I give them the production history of the old one about Robbins and Bernstein coming together. And, and then we go and see the show and um, about, you know, that Anna Teresa de Kersmarker um, choreographed. And yeah, and so the Juilliard administration was absolutely so very happy about my idea and, you know, making mm -hmm. things current and alive. And well, and then uh, Corona happened and well, um, and Broadway shut down. <laughs> so we're not gonna see any show. Right, right. But the, his the history of West Side Story is of course still wonderful. So now we're doing it on a Monday, Tuesday, instead of a whole day course, since it's online, we are um, doing two times two and a half hours mm -hmm. so because nobody wants to be online the whole day. Right. And you need to make your own lunch. And uh, <laughs> so it's from 10 to 12.30 in the morning, New York time. But the wonderful thing is anybody can dial in from all over the world. Oh, okay. you, don't have to be on, you don't have to be on Manhattan's West Side to be part of West Side Story. Right. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and you can dial in and, and, um, and I'll do some moves in front of the camera to, to make it come alive and talk about the choreography and talk about Robbins and talk about Peter Gennaro, um, a choreographer who assisted Robbins, who was not much credited for his uh -huh. contributions. Yeah. I've, I've used, I did a course once um, a few years ago about dance on film. And of course, West Side Story, the film version, was part of it. And I had George Shakiris um, as a guest speaker. Oh, you did? Uh, together with, yeah, with Deborah Levine. She came and uh, they came together from Los Angeles. And oh, wow. so um, it was just wonderful having George Shakiris there. I mean, fantastic. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, hey, I love teaching. And so this, this online thing and, you know, performing for the camera is a new thing for me. I hope I'm doing well. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I want to ask you, or you can tell for the people that don't know the people behind the scenes, George Takaris was the lead of the Jets, right? In the film. Was he also in on Broadway? Film, in the, in the film. In the film, he was Bernardo. Right. He was in the West. He was in the West End production in '58, um, and he was a part of the part of the Jets. But then he was the Jets for the mm -hmm. film. He was recast, um, and he was uh, Bernardo and got the Academy Award Best Supporting Actor. Right. So it's always nice to have an Academy Award winner as a guest speaker, of course. Right. right? Yeah, it's a it's a huge deal. I think. Um, Years ago, when I was in Manhattan, and I think you were there at the time, uh, Rita Moreno uh, made yeah. an appearance for the 50th anniversary of West Side Story. And I think there was a box DVD and the line was around the That's corner. Really I think she's still surprised or, I mean, I can't speak for her, but I'm sure she was surprised to see that much, um, you know, that many people, you know, waiting. Adoration. Well, yeah, people won, yeah. and, she, and she, she got the Academy Award as well for Best Supporting yes, right. Actress. So George got Supporting Actor and Rita got um, Supporting Actress. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And since, since I did um, focus on that, on the film, as part of a larger course on dance on film, um, this time it is more about the, really, uh, the original Broadway production mm -hmm. and then in juxtaposition um, the current Broadway production, um, you know, what has changed and I'm trying to get um, somebody involved um, with that production to talk right. about it with me, um, you know, have a little interview as part of the class. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited about it. I mean, the film, you know, I, I saw it so often as a kid. I just, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I just love West Side Story. Right. And to to really dive into the history of it and now to look at what Robbins and Gennaro did with the choreography. Um, it's, it's just so rewarding now to come, you know, now with, with, a, with an educated perspective rather than adoring children's eyes mm. where, where I was just absolutely in awe. Yeah. And, you know, but you couldn't put it in words. And, 
uh, there was this wonderful Robbins exhibit um, about his life's work at the um, New York Public, Public Library at Lincoln Center just mm -hmm. this past year. That was a fantastic, fantastic exhibit. Of course, West Side Story was part of it. And it, and it was Sondheim's first Broadway job, you know, oh, as okay. a lyricist. I mean, wow. Bernstein wrote the music. And now, see, I proposed this course on, on Robbins and West Side Story. Mm -hmm. And uh, a colleague of mine um, proposed a course on West Side Story about the music of sure, it. So sure. now it will actually be a four-day course. Mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday is focused on the dance. Mm -hmm. And Wednesday, Thursday is focused on the music. And you can either take only my dance part or my colleague, the Silverman's um, music part or for discount you, <laughs> you can take both you take it and take both of them right, you know right, so right. uh but i didn't know that somebody else you know that a colleague had suggested that apart from me but of course you know it is um or was um a no-brainer with the broadway show going on and now i mean with with the gang war and you know, the, well, you can say a, a racially um, motivated gang war. Mm -hmm. um, it is, of course, topical, even if the Broadway show isn't going on. Yeah, yeah, sure, so. sure, sure, sure. I mean, can you elaborate a bit on, or give us a few points, not the entire course, but give us an idea of, like, maybe some factoids or things that you can explain to people about this particular musical because from my perspective i'll just tell you what i it seems during this era once again there was the people were very ambitious these these people in the arts right so there was there were always big mountains to climb and it seemed as if they were really really making uh huge strides so do you know how they came together or decided to work together yes. because collaboration well, is not the easiest thing, right? For people. Well, Ber Bernstein and Robbins um, had uh, worked together on a ballet in 1944 mm -hmm. called Fancy Free okay. at American Ballet Theater. I see. And that was a huge success, of course. Three sailors on shore leave, and you know, they are horny and <laughs> want to get the dames and uh of course it's terribly sexist when you when you look at it now but hey mm -hmm. it was good old-fashioned fun back then i guess mm -hmm. and that spun into the broadway show on the town so fancy right. free the ballet yep. you know was their first collaboration mm -hmm. it was such a huge success and then um on the town uh, was their first Broadway hit. Well, and then, you know, Robbins and Bernstein were Broadway stars in their own right as sure. composer and choreographer. And, and now then they got together with Arthur Lawrence, uh, um, who was supposed to write the book. Um, they had the idea of uh, writing a musical about the Jews on the Lower East Side. And it was supposed to be called East Side Story. Right. Actually. Mm -hmm. And um, Bernstein wanted to make it operatic, and Robbins wasn't for it. And there were some other, well, um, other ideas, and they decided to shelve it. Mm -hmm. And then there were gang wars much later on, um, years later in Los Angeles. And they thought about, oh, should we do, should we retake this and, um, and, and focus on gang wars? And then, oh, well, we are not familiar with the LA scene and, um, well, we have our own problems here in New York. So Puerto Ricans against the whites. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and of course, you know, the, and, and West Side Story then came out of that. But it really was, you know, it, it had all these different stages of sure. development and of 
abandoning it and of taking it up again. Um, and the course will, of course, go into detail about that, but mm -hmm. um, will also, you know, show video clips. And then we we are um, talking about the um, the choreographic concepts and yeah. what make how how to put character into steps so that it is apparent um, mm -hmm. you know who you're dealing with at what point and you know hey come on the finger snapping <laughs> this is yeah, just yeah. iconic from western yeah, story yeah. how did that come about so i mean there's lots to talk about it's a masterwork it's a masterwork it is, what it Robin is. is. And, and and just to be clear on the town became a film a hollywood film right with sinatra yeah. and uh gene kelly or, or who else who was in the movie uh -huh. right there was another person was it or just those two gene kelly um sinatra and someone else uh, and 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 another another thing was that let's say going back to west side story the thing that was really the film because i didn't see the, the broadway show the film, the score before the film starts, the opening, right? So the screen, I think, is one color, and then as it gets closer and oh, closer. The, and the wonderful use of color, right? right in that right. film, it's, it's just spectacular. Right, right. It's amazing what they do. And then they, they, they use graphics. They and use a lot of and, and, things. And the camera angles, right. you know, mm -hmm. how the camera really dances, you know, with um, with the dancers, you know, mm -hmm. and, and sh shoots them from from below or above, you know, and when when they play with a ball, and all of a sudden you're above and you see the drop on the, yeah, yeah, and then it's it's, just, it's really wonderful. It's and impressive. then you know that you have the of course you had the West Side Story suite that um, that Robbins then uh, extracted for New York City Ballet, mm -hmm. um, not. Yeah, very late in his career, and so I mean that's that's always sold out when when New York City Ballet does it. So there's mm -hmm. definitely a love a love for the dancing in it, even divorced from the from the whole story. Yeah. You know? What what about the choreography? Could you give us a bit more about, let's say, uh, maybe a breakdown, like maybe a two or three point breakdown? So in the, the the scenes that stand out for me at least yeah, in the yeah. film, uh, America, the gym scene, and also, well, there's four, the garage scene, and then going back to the beginning where they, you, you, the, you are introduced to both gangs. Yeah. Right? Brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. I think, you know, those are the major, they may be the major, uh, <laughs> major choreographic. Well, but, well, you know, and, and I think, um, you can, because it is so rich in whatever mood you're in, you uh -huh. know, um, whatever, I think the film speaks to you at different times in your life and different scenes affect you, mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, that wonderful raunchiness of America, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, the, and Chita Rivera, of course, originated the role on Broadway that right. um, Rita Moreno did in the film. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I went to see Cheetah, Cheetah Rivera's retrospective show on Broadway and mm -hmm. West Side Story, of course, a big part of that. And she talked about Peter Gennaro as a, uh, as a choreographer who um, helped Robin so much. But yeah, I mean, having, having the, that America scene and that, oh, the folklore of it and the skirt ruffling and the, it is just so full of life and juice, right? It's, uh, <laughs> And, and 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 then the juxtaposition of the groups in the gym dance, you know. Right. Here's one. There's the other. The 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 war, and in in a in a very well formal setting, you know, mm -hmm. that is so different than the street scenes, mm -hmm. and you know where ah and and that wonderful accumulation of uh, of groups, you know, when one one person is encountered by two, oh, uh -huh. and then three um, <laughs> yes. back him up, you know, yes, on this yes, side, and then yes. there's a whole gang, and then this gang comes and is even larger. And so uh, it it just grows, you know, from, from a personal altercation 
it becomes politics. Sure, right? sure, 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 sure. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's so a living, I mean, it's a living, I'm, it's a living, breathing, it becomes a living, breathing thing, right? You're watching it. And these are, it's the sum of all these different parts and the parts, at least in the film, it's very difficult to sort of pinpoint what is making the other move, but it all moves together, right? I mean, and so it creates a great, um, yeah, a uh, story in, in a variety, using a variety of techniques to sharpen the communication piece, right? I mean, it uses mu movement, music, uh, uh, dance, interaction, you know, uh, dialogue, you know, all kinds of techniques. You know, in I, I, I think it, it is one of the, the strongest musicals. I mean, it has, oh, it, it is fun. Mm -hmm. It has a purpose, love and death. It is drama. It goes under your skin. And it is, you know, as never this, oh, I, I see a problem coming up. I think I need to sing a song, you know? No, yeah, I um, understand. I understand. It, 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 it just, ah. Uh, but part, it, of, it, part of it, part of it, don't you think, is because it was based, from what I understand, it was based on Romeo and Juliet. Uh, yes. we, yeah. we, we, we read, I remember in high school, we had to read Romeo and Juliet, and then we watched West Side Story, I believe. I think that's the way, it went. but we, we, we read Romeo and Juliet, which was, you know, not the easiest thing. Um, well, of but, course not. But, 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 but story-wise, I mean, I mean, it was strong. Yeah, but the feuding families, mm -hmm. and that's not to diminish Shakespeare, right. don't have the, don't have that, um, the racial uh -huh. gang war. Right, it's feuding that. families and, you know, and, and, boy and girl are not supposed to come together and it's great drama but west side story actually enlargens it yes it's, it's contemporary uh, by having by having a, uh, a a a take on the on, on the problem in society that doesn't just involve a particular class. Right. I don't know. Yep. Um, what do you think, what do you think of other musicals or films such as the one that comes to mind is La La Land, right? Did you okay. see La La Land? Yeah, I, I in the in that vein, I prefer, prefer of course, those French movies, uh, the uh -huh. Jacques Demy movies, you know, um, the, uh, the girls, the young girls of Rochefort with Catherine Deneuve, uh -huh. you know, when I remember, it is I've, not, I've seen bits of it. And, <laughs> and Gene Kelly, right? Uh, and, and there are these, where it, it seems like, you know, everyday people, you know, break out into song or dance and it is mm -hmm. not this schooled um, perfection. Uh -huh. But, have in West Side Story, you know, where here, there's professionalism, those like, don't try this at home. Whereas uh -huh. La La Land, you know, it's like, oh, you know, uh, well, I can sing, I can dance. And I, I guess that's the appeal. Um, but, you know, it was done in those beautiful pastel colors in France in the 60s. So why mm -hmm. do I need to see that again? Anyway, <laughs> since we're on the subject of musicals, I have a, yeah. I have a huge problem with musicals. I mean, I... Um, I love the tongue-in-cheek Cole Porter wit. I love candor and F. I mean, cabaret, mm -hmm. again, you know, which has a political connection. And, sure, 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 sure. Uh, but also <laughs> Chicago, you know, hey, you know, the whole justice system is uh, called into question there, but in such a witty way. But when it gets into this murky, oh, let's all sing together and hold hands. Uh -huh. Oh, there's so many. Um, it, it doesn't oh, work oh, for you. Have a, you have a, oh, you have a helicopter on stage. You know, it becomes all about the props. You know? uh -huh. Then I rather run the other way. So I, musicals are not necessarily 
my cup of tea altogether. Mm -hmm. So West Side Story is. Uh -huh. Oh, and, and of course, I mean, I love the dance musicals with uh, with Ginger and Fred. Okay. But, you know, it, there, a lot of the things on Broadway are too saccharine for me. It's mm -hmm. not truly sweet. Uh -huh. It is this... Overkill? <laughs> Somewhat. Overkill. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I mean, wouldn't you say the I, art I, form? I don't, want, I don't want to hear a teapot sing. That's okay. what I'm saying. But don't you think um, the style of musicals a long time ago, it was in, it was fashionable. It was fashionable. There were people, there were a lot of people that at least they knew how to do it, or at least they, were, they grew up in it, right? So there were musicians who understood it. Uh, there were actors that understood it. So it, I think to do a musical today, that's a, that's a big jump from where we are culturally, right? So it would have to it would have to be somebody that really really is good, you know, creatively knows how to pull different people in because most people didn't grow up with this as a currently the people have grown up uh, with something else they haven't they don't understand, so it's much more difficult to pull something off like West Side Story today. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think um, you have people who are schooled, mm -hmm. who can sing and dance and act. I don't think that's a problem. Yes. Um, I, and a lot of people love Broadway musicals. Mm -hmm. I, I, that doesn't seem to be the cultural divide seems to exist for you and me i mean as far as i understand what you're saying uh -huh. i mean for me that there's definitely that divide where i cannot go to a lot of musicals and feel that i'm seeing something worthwhile uh -huh. i i still appreciate the craft you know people i admire people who can sing and dance and act but yeah if it's um Yes, if the subject matter is not, I mean, and again, the subject matter in a Ginger and Fred musical doesn't, doesn't seem to bother me because, oh my, they are so wonderful. I mean, Ginger Rogers, I mean, she can do anything she wants. I always love seeing her. Mm -hmm. She was just the best. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, it, that's a, it's, it's tough. Musicals are... Well, but La La Land again, it was successful, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, and also Hamilton, I think it, 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 yes, Hamilton was yes. successful, right? Yeah, but these are these are rare, like Hamilton is a rare bird, right? From what I understand, right. that just doesn't happen every day in Broadway. No, 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 that's a, that's really different. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, that's not saccharin, that's true. Have you, I'm going to ask you, um, it's a, a little bit off topic, and then I'll, I'll, I'll ask you for closing remarks. I've been watching during the COVID um, old Carol Burnett shows, and Carol Burnett is a comedian who, very famous, you know, you know her, she did takes or parodies or spoofs on great movies and musicals. So she did um, one, uh, Go with the, Gone with the Wind, she did another one with Joan Crawford. And so what's interesting is that she seemed to understand the sensibility, but of course they would ham it up, right? And they would make fun of it. But I, I would suspect you would need somebody like her that has a broad, 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 broad range, because I think she had also had something to do with bringing the writers in, bringing the actors in, and creating a space so that people could move. And I think it's, you know, in hindsight, looking at what she did, is, it's fairly brilliant, very brilliant, actually. And there has not been anyone since that has matched her level of, of, of talent, ability. And it's so clear now because we're in, you know, pandemic or we're, we're in, in, in this particular um, situation and you have time to watch the YouTube. So I, I suggest you watch some of, she's done a, a spoof on dub, Double Indemnity. 
I mean, oh, very, yeah? very, very, oh, no, it's it's great. Great. oh, man, it's great. It's great. And it, it's almost like um, my dream or one of my dreams was, you know, earlier on before things started to, to go a different route was to do to be involved with the film that had something, some singing and dancing similar to West Side Story. Now, did I get there? No. I, 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 since, 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 since you're saying spoof, my favorite spoof of a, of a musical uh -huh. ever is a French and Saunders skit. Uh -huh. You know, Dawn French and yeah, Jennifer yeah, yeah, yeah. Saunders, British mm -hmm. comedy duo. The British. And they did one, they did one on Chorus Line. Ah, okay. And, and Dawn French is Kathy Broadway. Uh -huh. And uh, he auditions for Jennifer Saunders uh -huh. and the Michael Duck role. Uh, give me a chance in my woolly sweatpants or something because my legs are now slender and strong. I've been watching this so many times. It is hilarious. And there's the whole, the, the mirror in me scene, you know. The, uh -huh. ah. uh -huh. And Dawn French, who is rather portly. Yes, you know, and and she spins around and gets dizzy, and ah, oh, it is fantastic! It is so fantastic. It's on YouTube. I will, do, I will check it out. Do yourself a favor. It is well, well, hilarious. I, I'm glad you brought this up because we did not mention a course line, and we can mention that, and then we then we close. You tell you're going to tell everyone where they can find the course or how to reach you and that sort of thing. But oh, thank you course line, much. course line. I grew up in New, northern New Jersey at a time where Broadway, they had these shows like Evita and The Chorus Line and uh, Phantom of the Opera. I mean, th these were coming out like back to back, it seemed. Nine, yeah. do you remember Nine? Like Nine was with- Lillian Mont Montevecchi. Uh, it, it was Anita, a redhead woman with a lace bodysuit. I can't re I remember yeah. her in the lace bodysuit. I, I don't know her last name, actress very voluptuous figure and she was one of the main like women or that he had like what six seven eight women that he was uh involved with and she was one of them and this these these would come on television in in, in the form of commercials so that's how okay. we knew about musicals in the late 70s early 80s anyway i digress can you tell everyone how they can reach you or where they can find the course both so that they can oh, um, sure yes so go, go online yeah. and look for juilliard evening division uh -huh. which is their way of saying continuing education which I is see. open to anybody I it's see. just you know they have the, the dance the drama the music division and then they have the i didn't know other divisions and then it's called the evening division so juilliard mm -hmm evening division and it's summer session and then mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of classes and you know um if you want to know more about bach or if you want to have ear training or a voice class and you will find the west side story festival with the dance portion and the music portion uh -huh. and i am of course the dance portion <laughs> and that's monday and tuesday uh june 22nd and 23rd that's okay. coming up so it's coming up and, in a couple of weeks. And it's expensive. It's expensive. And if we weren't with, um, have, wouldn't deal with the corona crisis, I would say, you know, get all your friends together and um, have a watch party. But that right. would be irresponsible of me. I but understand. maybe you can all wear masks. You know, don't be in groups of more than 10 and all wear masks and be part of the class. I don't, I don't know what to advise. But mm -hmm. the wonderful thing is anybody anywhere in the world can dial in. It starts 10 o'clock, 10 to 12.30, two East and a half hours time. each day. And that, that way people in Europe could dial in, you sure. know, and have it in the afternoon and yeah. I don't know. Well, look, it, it, it's, it's a new thing, this whole online experience. Well, but so I, I, I will tell I you this. Found the right formula. The reason why I, you know, wanted you to do this is because it seems as if all the dance people are online these days, right? So I underestimated the impact of even our interview, our first interview. A lot of people have watched it. Got a lot of wonderful responses. Got a right? lot of res yeah, yeah, and you're still number so one on BitChute. Thank you so much for this. You really. know, and 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 you know, it's an experiment for me as well, right? So when we do the interviews yeah. it's 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 okay so what are people interested 
who are yeah. people interested in, you know, hearing. Um, so, you know, we're only in our, what, 15th, 16th, 17th interview. The idea was that to get, you know, 30 in a month. I mean, I'm slowing down a bit, but we'll pick back up. And, you know, we'll and continue. I, I applaud you for what you're doing and thank you for having me part of your experiment. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Is there anything else that you would like to add uh, before we close? Well, I think that I should interview ne next time and, and hear about your life in Basel. You know, oh, okay. we, let, let, let's reverse the roles. I think it's time <laughs> It's time to have you in the spotlight. Hey, look, you know what? I have no problem with that. We can arrange that at some point in the future. <laughs> Probably wouldn't it, sooner wouldn't than nice, later. Wouldn't it be nice for your audience to know more about the man behind, the, behind well, all this? Th there's a lot going on, right? Sometimes I'm like, oh, <laughs> to calm everything down, right? But um, yeah, I have no problem with that. We can arrange uh, for that in the future. Great. Okay. Wonderful. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your day, and um, oh, thank you. and we will be in touch soon. Thank you so much, David. Be well. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.